गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन द अमेजिंग अस्टेनो चैनल दिस इज आदित्य सीन प्रजेंटिंग टू यू द प्रोग्रेसिव मैगजीन पब्लिश्ड ऑन टेंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सो गेट रेडी फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन स्टार्ट द रिकमेंडेशंस आर वेरी नाइस If we read them, they appear to be much more constructive than even the Young Pioneer Group's program in the Soviet Union. But in actual practice, nothing has been done because of lack of funds. If everybody receiving a salary or paying income tax. wealth tax gift tax or vehicle tax is requested to participate in the endeavor to raise resources for children nobody will object if the general masses pay 5 paise per individual per year we can have a very sizable budget and a very constructive and comprehensive policy both at the center and in the states when a child grows into a young man he talks of a sports and games look at the budget allocation for a sports and games which would help the development of the mental and physical potential of the young of our country it is a, a small amount in comparison to what they spend in middle eastern countries in a country having 100 crores of people that is the second large population in the world children and youth are not given any financial expenditure support by the government there is no compulsory item of expenditure for the promotion of the moral and cultural agents of the children in the national sphere this work has to depend on some social organizations i do not object to the participation of voluntary organizations but i do feel that when a country proclaims itself to be a socialist country or a country on its march towards socialism the looking after the youth and children should be the basic pillar of the policy of the country what is the position in our country the children are badly neglected they do not know even their own parents in the words of jawahar lal nehru when a child is born in this country it should consider the country as its mother and the country should consider the children as their own do our children think of our country in that way no today the looking after of children is done by the father of a church because they feel that is the way to serve god sometimes we give them prizes or we recommend their names to the united nations organization or other authorities for the award of nobel or some other prize but do you think that a country like ours should depend on a father of a church for the welfare of our children the moment a child is born in our country it should be the responsibility of the country under our constitution and the rule of law as it obtains today thank you so much for your patience jai hind